Hey, how y'all doing? It's Kenyon from the Heavy Metal Highway. Hey, you know, um, you all know I'm going through this whole um, prostate cancer thing, and um, I just started getting uh, uh, chemo the other day, uh, actually yesterday. I got a little bit more today. They had to finish doing something, and I had this, uh, this port here. I guess you can't see it. Maybe you can. Um, so they put some of that in today. I go back now in three weeks and have a little more done. And a total of six uh, chemo treatments once every three weeks. I guess I should finish up at some point in early May. Uh, but everything's looking pretty good. Um, my uh, testosterone's down to 15, unfortunately, but um, that was up a little bit too high. And uh, PSA is down to 6.7, and it continues to drop. I'm on something called Nubeca. Um, a pill to help suppress the testosterone and and hopefully arrest the prostate cancer. Um, I'm no longer getting the Elligard shot because now I'm getting the um, the Nubeca and I'm on chemo. So everything it sounds really really bad and um, it gets to a lot of people. Like a lot of people just can't go through all this and they just wind up giving up. And hell, you know, if you know me, that's not me. So um, I'm already having discussions and, and thoughts about, you know, uh, if I get two good tests where my testosterone is staying low and my PSA goes down to what's called undetectable, which is below 1, 1 1.0, um, if I can get two that way and the chemo is done and my bone lesions are gone and we don't have any more detectable cancer, in my body, then we are going to start um, slowly raising my testosterone uh, so that I can um, once again lift weights, um, get some of my muscle back, uh, keep my bone density healthy, my immunity, you know, bone, your immunity is also dependent upon um, testosterone. So we'll get it all back together again. And I am positive in another four to six months, um, we're going to have this thing ratcheted back up. And I'll be back here in the heavy metal hideaway, um, hitting it as hard as I possibly can. I'm gonna have to start off slow. I tell people that, you know, I was training at the rate of a 30, 35 year old, and all of a sudden I'm training myself as if I were 55 or 60, and I don't like it. Um, it's not challenging to my mind. It's challenging to my body now, but it's not challenging to my mind enough. I need to uh, develop and I need to grow. But anyway, this whole experience with the chemo, everybody wonders, well, what's chemo like? You know, I heard this and I heard that. I've been very fortunate. I have a great team of uh, oncologists and doctors at the Central Florida Cancer Institute who have prepared me with medication to keep me from vomiting. Um, I am not um, uh, the type of person who gets depressed about this at all. Um, I do... I do ask uh, God, I ask God daily to please give me another 10 or 15 years with my family. Um, I have this discussion with him. It's my, by my choice. Um, I do it privately in a car. And um, I have so many friends and so many people have told me they're praying for me. And I, I appreciate that. My friends and family, um, my daughter in Rhode Island, their family, um, and my son in New Jersey, my family here. Um, they're all <clears throat> they're all praying for me, and they're all um, supporting me 100% as they should, and and as um, as I certainly hope they would, um, because I want to just be around for them for a long, long time. So, without further ado, um, they say that the whole uh, chemo thing brings about a lot of side effects. You know, you can have vomiting, you can have diarrhea, you can have this, you can have skin rashes, you can be ultra tired, super tired. Uh, lose your hair or whatever and I guess on the hair loss thing you know how how um, I'll get a close-up here how fond I am of my hair see all the hair that I have or whatever's left um, I'm trying to like grow it like try and look cool like um, Lee Priest has like the coolest freaking hair have you seen Lee Priest's hair He's a Facebook friend of mine and a, and a bodybuilding pro, probably one of the best pros around ever. And he has the coolest freaking hair. So I tried to go down that road and all of a sudden, bam, here I got the chemo. So I have options. 
and I want you to vote. Uh, just vote below in the comments, okay? So the voting is either going to be Hat, Dave, or Joey. All right, so here's the hat. You know, um, if I lose my hair, I might have to have some kind of a headpiece, and, you know, I can always wear this hat and look kind of cool, kind of dapper with the hat. You know, that's one option. You know, I don't know if I have a good side or a bad side. I never really thought about it much, but that's hat. All right. Joey, we're going to call it Joey because Joey, if you're a rocker from way back when, Joey was like Joey Ramone, okay? I could do the Joey Ramone thing 20, 20, 24 hours ago, to go. That's right, 2020, 20, 24 hours to go. I wanna be sedated. All right, so there you go, that's Joey. So we got the Joey thing. Or, or we have the David thing. Now some of you guys have seen this before, but it's an option. I don't know if the David thing is me or not, but we can maybe make it work. So this is the David hair, all right? I gotta figure out which is the front, which is the back. David hair. So this would be, this would be David hair, all right? If I lost all my hair, <clears throat> I'm not gonna run around with no hair or nothing covering my head, right? So this is, The David Lee Roth look. All right. All right. So Dave, Joey, or Hat. Those are the three votes. Let me see what you think. Thanks for visiting us in the Heavy Metal Hideaway. And keep working out. Keep challenging yourself. Get better and better every day. Signing off.